Okay, so this is my next video comparing the RP2040 with the RP2350. Of course, the RP2040 was the microcontroller chip found in the Raspberry Pi Pico. The RP2350 is the chip found in the Raspberry Pi Pico 2 and a whole host of other microcontroller boards. The first board that I have received is the Challenger Plus. Uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip from iLabs and I've been using that as my main board for this testing. Now in this particular video we're going to be looking at the floating point performance and the use of the uh, secure hash 256 hardware accelerator that's built into the RP2350. So if you want to find out more please let me explain. Okay, it's just a quick refresh. The RP2040 has two Cortex M0 Plus cores running at 133 megahertz with 264K of RAM. And it does include a low level hardware divider circuit because the Cortex M0 doesn't have integer division or multiplication built into it. So you normally need to do it in software. However, the particular chip does have a special unit that can be used to do that hardware division. The RP2350 runs at a higher clock speed, 150 megahertz, has more RAM, 520K, and comes with a choice of two uh, CPU cores. Now they're all built into the same chip and you switch between them if you want to. So you can have two Cortex M33 cores, or two RISC-V hazard three cores. You can technically run one and one. Haven't got around to trying that yet, but that is uh, feasible according to the technical documentation. Now, the important thing is that this chip, so the RP2350 has a secure hash 256 hardware accelerator built into it. So if you're doing any SHA256 calculations, you can use the hardware accelerator. And the Cortex M33 has a full floating point unit. So hardware, floating point. And those are the two things that we're going to be looking at in this video. So just a quick refresh, just doing general uh, workloads here. I've got a whole video on this, but this is the screenshot from the graph from the N Queens uh, test that I did. As I say, it's all covered more in the other video. Uh, lower is better because it's time, how long it takes to run. And you can see here that basically the RP2350 is twice as fast as the RP2040. Uh, uh, and the RISC-V chip there is not far behind. And if you actually watch that video, you see that the RISC-V does actually come out better in a couple of scenarios as well. So overall, you're getting a two times general performance increase with this new processor. Now to test the floating point unit, I dug up the old Whetstones uh, uh, benchmark, which comes from, you know, decades ago, literally. And uh, it was originally written in Algol, maybe in Fortran. It's been converted to C. So I dug that up. Uh, all the links are in my GitHub repository if you're interested. And I ran that now on the RP2040 and the RP2350. And here's our first result. So on the RP2040, you get 10 mega whetstones instruction per second. That's the, the unit that comes out of the whetstone uh, benchmark. Uh, whereas the RP2350, let's remember this is floating point operations really. So the ARM Cortex M33 gives 50 mega whetstones instruction per second. So you can actually see huge difference there, five times faster just by switching to the RP2350 because you've got a fl full floating point uh, unit in there. Now I've not shown the risk 5 uh, one. Now remember, before I show this, it doesn't have a floating point uh, unit. Now does the RP2040, but it's interesting to see what we get here. Well, so it's actually 1.9 mega whetstones instructions per second, uh, which means that the ARM processor is 26 times faster when it comes to floating points. If you do have a lot of floating point stuff to do, which traditionally isn't done, to be honest, in microcontrollers, lots of microcontrollers don't have any floating point hardware. So this isn't something that necessarily gets done a lot. But if you do have a lot of floating point calculations to do, you definitely want to use the Cortex M33. Now, the original test is double precision. I took the same code, swapped everything from double in C, that's what it is, to float, and ran the tests again. I don't know there are any cases of overflow or anything, but I just ran the tests again, and these are the numbers I get. So 16.7 now for the original Raspberry Pi Pico uh, chip, 125. So, of course, these are uh, less complicated 
uh, inst uh, mathematical instructions, less complicated FPU operations because we've gone to single precision and 2.7. So that basically means that if you're using single precision, the uh, RP2350 with the ARM processor is 46 times faster than the Risk Five one. Okay, so what about the Secure Shell 256? Well, the interesting thing is that the Secure Shell 256, SHA 256, is built into the whole process. It's extra circuitry that's available to both CPU cores. It's not something specific to the ARM process, which I originally thought when I read the spec sheets earlier on. And here you can just see the huge difference. If you do that uh, test in um, uh, software only, it takes 1,152 milliseconds to complete the test. That's basically hashing one megabyte of data using uh, SHA-256. If you do it using the hardware accelerator, it's 33 milliseconds. So absolutely massive difference there. In fact, it's 35 times faster. So if you've got any uh, large amounts of SHA-256 stuff to do, let's think you're doing some uh, networking stuff and you need this kind of hashing to go on, then really you do want to be using the RP2350. Now, of course, the Raspberry Pi Pico doesn't have networking built into it. The Raspberry Pi Pico uh, 2W will, but it's not out yet. The Challenger board that I'm using from iLabs does have networking built into it, and my review will come along soon here on this channel to cover the networking and all the other aspects of this board. But the point is, is if you've got to do SHA-256, then you definitely want to be using this new chip. Okay, so what can we say in summary? So the RP2350 is in general 1.5 to 2.0 times faster than the RP2040, which is great news, irrelevant of whether you're using the ARM core or the RISC-V cores. As I've said, whole video covering that here on this channel. Now for floating point operations, the Cortex-M33 is five times faster than the Cortex-M0 Plus in the RP2040 and 26 times faster with double precision than the Hazard 3 RISC-V processor. But remembering that the Hazard 3 doesn't have an FPU, so there is an advantage in the M33 because it's got hardware floating point unit. And for SHA 256, the RP2350 is around 35 times faster than the RP2040, regardless of whether you're using the ARM or the RISC V CPU. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sim. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, I invite you to stick around, subscribe to the channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.